Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Nerd Herders. My name is Nick. I'm Rich. And today, we're doing some news. We are. Again. Again. It's second news for the day. So, uh, what? Before we talk about the news, oh, okay. why don't we introduce this week's beer again? Cool. We're drinking, we're drinking Fathead's Bumbleberry. Bumbleberry. Got a really fat, he almost looks like uh, Laurel. Laurel the fat one? Oh, uh, it's hard to Yeah, do. no. It's Laurel's the pudgy one, and then you had hard on. <laughs> That was his name, Laurel and Hardon. Yeah, it looks like it looks like Laurel, and he's got some bumblebees and some berries, some blueberries. It's interesting. It's it's from the the fine gentlemen Matt, Chris, and Glenn over yeah. at the uh, the Fat Heads Brewery, mm -hmm. and you can go to their website www.fatheads.com. I would have thought that that URL would have been taken by the company Fat Heads that puts those things on the walls. You know, like. And get athletes and stick them on the wall. Oh uh, yeah, those are called fat heads. But somehow these guys got the website. If this is an ordering beer. It, it is an award. Most beer. refreshing beer in America. Brewing news: Global warming open. There's a global warming open. I think these guys made that, and then they they gave themselves an award. Oh. Um, but there we have it. Um, it's a blueberry honey. I'm still not sure if I like it or not. It's different. It's very different. Good job, guys. You made something different. You made something. It's true. That's worth something. So, today, we are discussing some video games. We are. News. Um, let me find where I wrote it. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff written here. Um, here it is. So, the first story that I wanted to talk okay. about is... Um, this one's an interesting one. Oh. I want to know your thoughts on this. Do so. You? Let's see. I do. I want to know your thoughts on all... Actually, the second story, I don't want... Don't say a word. Okay, I'll just keep my shut in your thoughts. Uh, Ubisoft mm -hmm. has announced that for the PC version of The Division only, they are going to start permanently banning cheaters who play on The Division. Cool. So there's going to be a strike basis. One strike, three days suspension. Two strikes, you're out, because they've never seen baseball. <laughs> Maybe that's a cricket thing. They're French. Yeah, it could be. Um, what are your thoughts? Cool. Cheating? I don't know how they're cheating. What are they, what are they cheating with? Like, uh, just mods and hacks and stuff. Kick and them out. And Kick them out. Apparently, so Damn. why even give them two strikes? Should do one strike. There's out. like a there's like a thing. If you see somebody cheating, you can report them, and then Ubisoft will manually monitor that person. And if they agree, then cool. It's permanently banned from a game. That's cool. Yeah, good for them. Yeah. I don't know how they could do it for the console space, but... They said it's not an issue on the console. Yeah, I guess it's harder to hack. Apparently. But I would think people would know how to do it, but... They said it's not an issue, that's why it's only on PC. Cool, good for them. Did you have the... You don't have the Quantum Break piracy one on here, do you? Nope. Because, do you see what they're doing? They're giving... If you pirated it, your character will have an eye patch in the game. So, so, so you're like, so you're labeled, so you're labeled. As, no, there's, so you're labeled as a pirate. So everyone knows that you illegally bought or illegally got the game. But if they know that you illegally bought it, why can't they just stop? And can change your character? Why can't they stop you from playing it? I don't know. It almost sounds like if you want a cool eye patch, you should pirate. It game. does. I'm assuming that's the PC version too, mm -hmm. right? It's interesting. I didn't hear that. I heard there's a butt glitch in uh, Dark Souls Three. Yeah, heard about that. There's a lot of stuff going on. Video um, games are fun. All right. Well, I thought that was interesting. It's cool. They yeah. Should, good wish, for them. They should do that in more games. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Next one before we get to probably one of the bigger stories of the week. God of War. It's a it's a franchise that exists. Right. Oh, am I allowed to right. speak? Yeah, you can speak. Oh, okay, cool. Go yes, ahead. God Just of like, War. What are you doing right God now? of War exists. <laughs> yes. It is um, a franchise. Franchise I have never played. Really? Yeah, not too interesting. Okay. Um, but apparently, the new God of War, God of War Four, mm -hmm. God of Four. I hope they call it God of Four. They might um, put, a, put a, just a four in the middle of the word War for the A. They should do it. So that game usually took place in like ancient like Greece. Like yeah, it was, it was Greek, Greek mythology. mythology. And now the rumor is that it's going to be like Viking time, Norse mythology. Mm -hmm. Maybe with or without Kratos. Yeah, they have the the concept art shows what looks like Kratos, but with like a Viking beard and an axe. So we don't know if it's Kratos or if it's like just a similar. So Vikings are so in right now. That's why they're doing that. Um, 
you know, Thor is popular. Yeah. Loki's popular. That show Vikings is, is a popular show. I've never seen it. I never will, I don't think. But, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I've never played one of these games. So okay. I, I don't know what setting it would take for me to probably get the next one, but are you excited? I think it's cool. Um, yeah, I've played, I played all of 1, 2, and 3, both PSP games, and then I started playing Ascension, which was the prequel. Mm-hmm. Um, and just other stuff came out. I think it came out like a week before The Last of Us, so I was like... It's bad timing. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. Or might have just... No, I don't think it was... I don't Whatever. Um, yeah, I didn't get super far into it. And it. They're fun. Like, I enjoy the gameplay. Kratos isn't a super interesting character. Um, but I think it's, it would be really cool to explore Norse mythology. It's not something that we... Yes, we have the Thor movies, we have Vikings, but other than that, you don't get into much of the mythology of that. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it would be really cool to have him go through and kill Thor, or lo- you know, get his hammer and use that as a weapon in the game or something. His hammer meow meow? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm sure, you know, it It sounds, what's cool to me about take, it take is Odin's that other eye. a drastic change, right? Mm-hmm. Put him in a real deep Odin sleep. Yeah. Um, but that they're not just Potentially, they're not going to just stick with what people know. They're going to do something new. That's, yeah. that's good. That's refreshing. It's probably needed. I'll be curious to see if it's actually called God of War 4. If it's like. Yeah. So, if it's just a subtitle. Or God of War. Like or I God said, of War. I've heard people make the God of Thor joke. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll stay see. tuned. Yeah, we'll hopefully by E3. Definitely, I think, right? Not Comic Con E3. Eh, could Maybe. Comic Con. I'm just saying because you got your shows mixed up last I did. in the last news segment. I did. So, most likely three. Yes. Um, all right, next story. The open beta for Doom, mm-hmm. the dates have, and times have been announced. Um, yeah. So, there was a closed beta for people who pre ordered Wolfenstein mm-hmm. a while ago. Um, but the open beta will be start at 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on April 15th and close at 11.59 Eastern Standard Time on April 17th. Cool. So this is a multiplayer cool. beta. Um, get to try out the game. I know you're excited for the new Doom. Do I'm you try excited. it out or you don't really care? Well, so it's this weekend that you guys are seeing this. So it'll be this yes. weekend. Yeah. So um, there you go. During this week, I will be at the Florida Film Festival. So I don't know if I will have time to try out the multiplayer. I would like to, you know, if I get home one night, like 2 a.m. or something, and have a chance to sit down for an hour and try it. But I've never been a big online multiplayer person. So I'm not super interested. I just would like to play to just kind of get the feel of it and see, Mm -hmm. you know. Whenever I get Doom, and it won't be day of because I'm saving that funds for Uncharted, which mm. comes out, what, two days before or something yeah. silly. Um, but whenever I get Doom, I won't be getting it for the multiplayer. I'll, mm-hmm. I'm going to get it to play single player. Yeah, which um, from what they've said is supposed to be pretty like I hope so. So uh, I'm if I'm free during that weekend, I, I might play it just mm. to get the gameplay and stuff. But we know what to expect. Hopefully. They did it right. Yeah, I mean, I've you know I've seen some some playthroughs and mm-hmm. stuff, and it looks it looks like what you hoped it would be. Yeah, well, we'll see. I don't know. I'm excited. Yeah, if I'm so, around, I'll give it a shot. But I thought I thought people would want to know if if you're yeah. interested in Doom, you can you can join that open beta uh, this weekend. All right, last story. Uh, one of the bigger games of the fall got a release date. Yes, it did. Gears of God of War four. Yep. Gears of War four. Um, Gears Geo, of War. G-O-W-4. Gears of Thor. Gears of yeah. Snore. I got a text. It's Chipotle. They want me to join the sweepstakes. All right. Um, For all your Chipotle sweepstakes news, stay tuned <laughs> right here at Over a Beer. Yeah. Uh, so here's a question. I'm excited for this mm-hmm. game. I'm very excited for this game. Another game that is entering its fourth. Yep. Another game that has that had G-O-W. Another game about war. Mm-hmm. Another game that had a about not it. as well received thing like Ascension. Oh yeah. Judgment. Another game that 
I don't have. It has it's a another game that some people consider to have a slightly uninteresting lead. I always liked Marcus. Phoenix. I like Marcus Phoenix too, but he has. There is kind of a rap there. Mm-hmm. It's generic. Um, I thought they did a good job, but he's not going to be in this much at all. Or no, maybe it's, not it's at all. Or maybe he will be. We'll find it's out. It's going to take thirty years after the events of God of War th- or Gears of War Three. <laughs> that would yeah. be interesting. It's, it's one s- video game universe. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not though. Kratos is going to fight the what are they? Lo- the locusts? Is that what they're called? In the yeah. Okay. Kratos is going to fight the locusts, and then. Phoenix is gonna snipe him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you heard it here first. Yeah. Uh, no, this this actually has some really cool sounding stuff. So you play as Marcus Phoenix's son, mm-hmm. and then there's like a cool looking lady. Yeah. Um, but the game also takes place in the woods over oh, one night. night. So that's what really interests that's me cool. is like the idea of this whole thing taking place over a single night. Because if you look at the old Gears it's of War 20, games, it's twenty four years of war, twenty years of war, four. <laughs> if you look at the old games, like they were, you know, these these kind of grand stories that took place over a long period, these big war epics, and you mm-hmm. always ended on like this big fight and blah 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 blah. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's interesting to see it, the scope of it scale. I don't know if the scope is going to be small, but just the timeline scaled to one night. Yes. Is it going to be like? Take it to a twelve-hour camp is going to take. Place. I don't know. I'm curious. I'm very curious to see how that this is. Yeah, uh, I love Gears of War. So here is my question for you. I think I've asked you this before. I think, I think you should have been expecting this. I, will, I, will. I have an Xbox One. You don't have. An I Xbox don't have an Xbox One. One. You like the Gears of War games. I do. I'm a big fan of the Gears of War games. So, October 11th. Well, here's my problem. Mm. Here's the pickle that I found myself in. Mm. Like you found yourself in the just like in this, like in the Sandlot. It's a pickle. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm in a pickle here, Benny. Um, we've got PlayStation VR. Yeah, we do. This October. Mm. Maybe the Nintendo NX this yeah. fall. And an Xbox One. Mm-hmm. I don't know. And maybe PS4K. Yeah. I'll have... Um... I want to say yes. I would like there to be a really cool, like, limited Xbox One or something. Could be. Maybe with, like, the, you know, Gears logo or something on it. I would... Might happen. I would pick something like that up. Potentially. I said that about the Halo 5 one, and then it was $500, and I was like, sorry, Microsoft, we had this talk. Mm-hmm. We're not doing $500 for your console. Yeah. Uh, but I'll spend $500 on a, on a headset for my PlayStation. <laughs> it um, could end up being five hundred dollars again. I'm assuming it would be the terabyte version. Yeah, which is even the terabyte is four hundred. No, I know, yeah. but with the game and maybe something else cool. Yeah, or maybe a Gears controller too. We'll see. Yeah, because now it's getting to the point. I'm like, okay, I want to play this. I want to. I would like to play Halo Five, even though it didn't get great reception. I still want to play Sunset Overdrive. For Free game this month. Download it, and when you're watching this, it'll be out. Yeah. 15th or something. So I'd like to say yes, but it depends on the NX, it depends on B- VR. Maybe I'll wait till Black Friday and try to get on See, a sale. Alright, here, here's the interesting thing. Okay. You know that this is a game that you definitely want to play. You know that there's a backlog of, of some games yeah. at least, that you definitely want to play. You don't know what we're gonna really get long term with the PSVR. But That's you'd true. Still, rather have that than this machine that you know is gonna have but has exclusives and will continue to have exclusives that you would find interesting. See, right there, there aren't that many Xbox exclusives yet. Yeah. That I'm like. But you know there will be more. Sure, there if will the be a PSVR few. PSVR doesn't hint. sell enough for studios to bother making games for it. No, I, 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 I get your or point. Or if in a, we don't know what they're going to do with the PSVR. What if in a year there's another new one? I definitely see your point. It's a risk. But I'm also more invested in my PlayStation 4 yeah, than I am I agree. in yeah, Xbox. I, too. I have I've still got a backlog of PS4 games to get through. So do I want to spend $400 on a console to have another backlog of games to get through in a console that 
last gen, I didn't play very often. I only played for like five games, mm -hmm. which I feel like I would do the same here. Maybe. Which I would like to play eventually, yes, I do want to get an Xbox One. Or do I get the thing that will add to the experience of the console that I've already invested three years of my time into? Mm -hmm. So that's... Yeah, I, I get it. There's, there's definitely both sides. But eventually, okay. I would like to get an Xbox One. And as soon as I do, you guys out there will be... You'll know it. You'll know. Yep. He'll, uh, inst he'll Instagram a picture of his bank account right after. Yep. Before and after. Say so zeros. <laughs> I'll say zero and then negative four hundred. A lot of zeros before the decimal. Um, or before the... After the decimal. Both. Both. They'll be just, on either side of it. It's just going to be a bunch of zeros. Um, so that's kind of the video game news that I had for the week. Cool. Did we miss anything? You can tweet at us. Mm-hmm. You can tweet at me. I'm Matt Stocks. I'm at Rich Felson. Um, the channel's on Twitter at OABeer underscore official. You can find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash overabeer, and you can email us at overabeerofficial at gmail.com. We're on Instagram now as well, over underscore a underscore beer. Oh, look, we're on YouTube. Do we have a custom URL to give them yet, Nick? I'm looking for it. No. No, we don't. So, if you like these videos, share and subscribe. Um, that way we can get our YouTube URL and give you a cool link to go to. Mm. Um, that's all I got. So, I'll wrap things up. Till next time, drink up. Butter me up. Butter him up. I don't want butter. He wants some butter. <laughs>